y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl scotty chelsea so y'all today i'm gonna be giving you all the details on this water wave hair you know y'all never seen your girl with no water wave girl so i'm gonna be giving y'all all the details on this hair by yolissa hair today i have partnered with yolissa hair to give you all the details on their company and what they have to offer so they sent me this 22 inch lace frontal wig this is a 13 by 6 transparent lace and this wig has all the adjustable you know what y'all will see all the unboxing and the install and everything in this video so we're gonna go ahead and just start jumping into the video i do want to make sure that you guys are subscribing to my channel make sure that you leave a comment down below and let me know if you're gonna get this hair and then also make sure you give it a big old fat thumbs up if you like it i'm gonna leave every single thing all the details everything i talk about or whatever in the description box below so you won't miss a thing sis and they've also hooked your girl up with a code scotty and that is gonna give you guys a little bit shiny off of this um hair purchase and uh enough with the rambling let's get on with this video okay y'all so excuse how i look right now girl i got my little boo boo right now <laughs> all right y'all so this is how the box comes girl, as soon as i saw pink i was like ah! You already know pink is my favorite color, girl. So they had me hooked at the box. And let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, all right. So this is the wig. This looks long. Wait, this really looks so long for 22 inches. Oh, so they give you an elastic band which definitely comes in handy when you need to adjust your wig. And if you're a wig maker, then you know how to add that on there, girl. But it's also very easy too. If you guys wanna see a video on how to sew this down or even how to make a wig, let me know. It also comes with a cap and this cap actually looks like it might be my color, so. And it also comes with, um, what is this? Attentions, you must read. <laughs> So this is like a little pamphlet, I guess. Oh, it also folds. Oh, that's nice. It just gives you like the details on your hair and stuff. And it also gives you instructions and stuff on the back for returns and stuff like that. And then also how to take care of the hair, which is very nice to have. Oh, what is this cute? So I'm guessing this is like a little bag that you can put your wig in when you don't have it on or something. Um, usually I just have my wig on like my mannequin head or something, but this is nice for like traveling with your wig or something like that. You can definitely use this. It's so nice and silky. I like this. And it's actually pretty big. So let's go ahead and take this wig out there. Yes, girl, protect the wig, protect the wig. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just so excited because first of all, <laughs> this hair is so soft. <laughs> this hair is so soft. Oh my God. No, seriously? What? It is. Oh my god. The hairline comes pre-plucked or whatever. Let me see if y'all can see. You probably can't see your eye. <laughs> you can see the hairline is pre-plucked. And see, this is the thing about wigs. Sometimes they be saying that it's pre-plucked, but when you like do like that, you cannot see that it's pre-plucked. But this one you can definitely see that it's pre-plucked right here. This is the inside of the wig. It also comes with, comes with those adjustable straps and also the clips, three clips on it, two on the side and then one at the back, which this back one be coming in handy, okay? I do need to bleach the knots, of course. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get all of that started and I'll come back to y'all. So y'all, I did go ahead and bleach the knots and wash the hair and I left it wet because girls, look at the curls. <laughs> I did go overboard with bleaching the knots, y'all. Now look, I am still learning, okay? So 
I had some few blonde hairs or whatever, just left it on too long, I guess, girl. I don't know, I'm learning, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and get into this install, girl. So, girl, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on off camera because y'all ain't about to uh, clock my little braid. So, y'all, I'm just gonna use my um, Got To Be Ultra Glued Freeze Blast Spray um, just to stick this cap down. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this little extra cap off because don't know if I got time for all of that, sis. So, y'all, I'm gonna take a little bit of some eyeshadow because I don't really have powder or whatever that matches my skin color. But I'm gonna just use some eyeshadow and brush that all around. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of that same eyeshadow and put it all across um, the lace. All right, y'all, so let me go ahead and put this wig on. <laughs> oh my God, y'all, I have never seen myself with curly hair. <laughs> Sis. Should I do a middle part or side part? I feel like this is a side part vibe like. All right, back the business. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the hair in a ponytail or semi-ponytail, whatever, just to get it back for a second. So y'all, I did not um, pluck the lace only because I just really didn't feel like it needed it. Like this is plucked really well um, already. So I'm going to cut this cap just a little bit more in a couple spots. So then I'm going to cut a little bit of the sides off just so you can, um, you know, fit my ear and stuff. Okay, y'all, so to make this a smooth and easy install, what I'm going to do is use my Got To Be Freeze Blast, and I'm just going to spray this across the hairline, tie my little hair wrap on it, dry it, and we done, sis. So let's do this. Now all I'm gonna do is blow dry this while I'm pressing it down into my skin. All right, so look, I don't know about y'all, but I like to cut my lace off with a razor only because when you do that, like I was saying, when you do that with them scissors and it just be, and it's not cute. I'll guard it in the middle. All right, so I'm gonna start with the middle and cut this off as close as possible to the hairline.
And don't worry, I'm gonna show y'all how to get rid of all that whiteness around it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to get rid of this whiteness and the uh, part of the lace that's still kind of like not laid, I'm gonna take the end of the red tail comb and get some of my got to be glue gel and put that on a red tail comb like that. I'm just gonna take a little, little, little bit like that. I hope you can see that. And I'm literally gonna press it in Press the hair into my skin, like that. And you'll literally see it melting into my skin and literally becoming invisible. What? <laughs> and then I'm just gonna dry it while I'm also pressing it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the entire frame and then I'll be back. Okay y'all, so as you can see, that has literally gotten most of the whiteness like completely gone. So I'm using my Ultra Warm Profusions Cosmetics um, palette. This is where I'm gonna get the powder from to tap on those white spots. And basically you just use any shade that you know matches you if you're a darker skin girl or lighter skin girl. You know, they have like all shades in this palette. This one is really good for like hair and like neutral makeup. So, yep. Okay, so girl, I'm done with all that because I really just want to get to this hair cord. Like, so of course I could do a side part or I could do the other side. This is a 13 by six lace. So it definitely has a lot of parting space or I could definitely do a middle part. So I'm gonna get my hot comb ready and I'm gonna um, go ahead and make sure all of this is flat and neat, honey. So y'all, before I do anything else to the top of the hair to make it all, you know, flat and whatever, I am going to go ahead and get started with the baby hairs. Now, girl, look, I don't know how many times I got to say this, but um, y'all know your girl is not an expert at the baby hair, so don't come for me. But we're going to try it today. We're going to make it look cute. And I didn't pluck this hair. I think I will go back at some point and start plucking the hair. But y'all, let me tell you. One thing about plucking hair, like I'll be very careful with that because if you want your wig to like last a long time, especially if it's a frontal, your baby hairs and stuff will like start to fade over time. And that's when you have to go cut your frontal more and all this stuff. And I don't like to deal with that too much. So I try to stay away from plucking the hairs as much as possible.
when I do my baby hair, I like to just make sure that it's like synced in, I guess. <laughs> I just put like a little hairband over it um, while I do the rest of the hair, just so that it can really seep in. So yeah, I'm gonna take this little hair oil um, that I got from the beauty supply store. I'm like almost out. But I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and just run it through the hair. And because it's water wave hair, you want it to look shiny and wet. The only thing I will say about this hair is that as I've been running my fingers through it, it has been shedding like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But that is something that's happening. Other than that, I have no complaints so far. So y'all, for the part, I'm gonna go back into that neutral palette and I'm just gonna take like an angled brush and dip that into the powder. Then y'all, I'm gonna take like some old mascara or something that I don't really use and um, just comb those blonde hairs. All right, let's take this off. One T, like what? What? y'all so that is all for this video today i hope you guys enjoy watching this video as much as i enjoy making it so again y'all your list of hair has hooked you girl up with a code so you guys can get some money off and the code is of course scotty so make sure you guys check the description box below and also check out the links and stuff because it brings you right to their website where they have all of the details on everything that they have on their website. Make sure to use that code so you get some money off. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, y'all. We are almost to 1K, so make sure that you guys are a part of that 1K family. And then also give me a big old fat thumbs up if you like this video. And then also don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know, girl, if you gonna get this hair or what, sis? The only bad thing I have to say about this hair is that it has been shitting like crazy, girl. I don't know why it's shitting like that. That. but other than that i have no complaints <laughs> anyways i'll see y'all in the next video love you